Hello everybody. So multimedia. Mixed no no multimedia. Mixed media Monday and I got all this stuff. And this stuff's already been opened. That I got from all the different Dollar Trees and that's a receipt. And I'm gonna pull it all out. And I'm gonna put this to the side to try it on my cart. The little scissors, the metallic pen, um, but what I'm really after, really, really after is the metallic acrylic paints. Because ever since I got them, this is a tempera paint. It's different. But these metallic acrylics, I really, really want to try. I got these. I got that. We got glitter, washi tape, card blanks, more metallic pens. That's what the card blanks came in. Another metallic pen, metallic pen. And more metallic paint. So the uh, um, and then of course I got the last bag where I got the gilding flakes and move that a little bit. Got that fabric. I don't know. What I'm going to do with that. Another shelf. Wooden spoons. Wooden silverware. Huge paper. Well, not huge, but large paper clips. Some stencils. Some stamps. The sticker beads. The thing about their sticker beads, let me just say. I mean, I mean, I got some pretty neat stuff here, and I don't know how much did I spend all together, honestly. I'm trying to think, maybe fifty, sixty dollars on everything. So. But the metallic paints are what I really want to use. But I do want to show you. Their um, beads like this. Um, now I'm not sure about these ones. But most of the time. They come more like a sheet. They're like attached to each other. So if you wanted to. You could use them this way pull a whole line and do a line of them. That's kind of neat. But you can also just cut that if you wanted them individual. I did want to show you that. Chalkboard painting. I've got Google eyes, but like I said, I mostly want to look at these. I'm just going to put all this stuff to the side and Pull up. Oh, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm going to have a mess to clean. Well, not really a mess, but a lot of stuff to put away. To find places for. I did get some white tags. I'm sure I showed all of that. These, these. I mean, a lot of stuff. That's watercolor paper. I don't want to use watercolor paper. I just want paper to play around on. Let's cut these up. My squares are not straight or anything. I'm just going to cut 
some squares and have a play with it. No telling how this is going to turn out. So you might think that I don't have a lot of colors here. That's what you might think. And I don't have white, which is going to stop me from making pink. But I can make orange. Um, I can make purple. I can make orange. Brown. Brown. We'll just play around with them. I have this has um, glycerin in it. That is a secret from um, Sheena, um, Crafter's Companion. You just put a little bit of, tiny bit of glycerin in with your water. And she just thinks that it helps to keep your paint liquidy longer and the paint wants to just come out of course because when I'm taking this off I probably squeezed I'm just gonna put some down on my mat this is gonna be messy it does have a shimmer to it my thing is acrylic paint is a dull paint, right? It's it's usually dries very matte. So uh oh. Okay. I wanted to see how the metallic works because in all honesty. Those are the ones that are usually so more expensive, right? Oh, you already opened this one. Just put a little bit on there. When the paint gets down farther, I'll be able to take that tab off. But for now that one I can take off now yay Looks very pretty so far. Looks very pretty. I got these paint brushes. I don't know if I left them sitting in the water too long. I cleaned them and then stuck them in clean water. And then now that water doesn't look clean. It looks cloudy. So I don't know if these brushes are any good. If I ruined it, them. We'll find out here in a minute. You know, you go on vacation, you don't always remember everything. It might just be, I had stuck these. You can see, I guess it brought other colors that were way in. Okay, so I don't have white with these. I really just have put this in clean water. And let's see, let me get some red over here. And a little bit of blue. And see if we can get Purple looks like I need more blue. I'm just trying to get a purple so you can see that I can make purple. Always start with your lighter color 
and bring your dark color into it. I have learned that. Here's my purple. Can you see? Look at the shine. Wow. That's some pretty good shine there. That's what I want to see too. It's how shiny is this really going to be? That's where it didn't get mixed too well. But anyways, there's... This turned out to be like grapey purple. Let me get that off. And... Oh, there's like stain in it. For sure. And let's do some orange so I can show you that, yes, we can make orange. Oh, that's way too much red. Okay. Let's see how that's getting orange now. Is it dry yet? Nope. Almost. Okay, on my leaves, I didn't have enough paint, but. There's that, let me show you the difference between that and the yellow. So you know that it really did mix. see that color difference very well because I put it on the purple and thought maybe it would show up over that background but it really didn't and I don't think I can pick up any more of that orange I think I pretty much took it all on the brush But you definitely can make orange. Let me go at this again. I didn't spray it with my spray. But this is going to be a darker orange because I picked up more red. than I did last time. It doesn't look so pretty though. <laughs> it's not so pretty looking. There's the orange. So we can mix, definitely. Mix colors nicely. Let's add some of this so that it doesn't dry out on us. Oh, let me see. Let 
This brush is way too big for anything. Maybe I'll just do a background. That's a lot of wasted orange paint. <laughs> Brush. Orange and let's do some red. I might have just picked up too much of that also. some blue and this might become brown with some of these colors let's see hopefully that orange is drying enough because with the red it will make purple And I'm just going to put it on wherever I feel like I want some blue. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the yellow. You always should do your lighter colors first, but I didn't. start getting the other colors mixing and then we're gonna get other colors As you can see I got red on there so now that yellow has some um, I got some red on the yellow on the yellow on the brush so I ended up with some orange on the edges Okay, let's see if the green's going to give me brown. Hopefully not. I don't have to worry too, too much if the other paint's dried. And acrylic paint does tend to dry pretty quickly. I like that I can see through it. What color do we need more of? Let's get some more of that orange on here. It's 
kind of interesting looking. It might turn out being something usable here. Let's see if I can get some of that orange on here. Good to go. Whoops. Eh, maybe not. No. No orange. Let's get a little bit more red here. They are looking pretty, um, metallic-y. Okay, I'm just going to keep layering them, layering them, and layering them, and see what I get, because it's very interesting to look at this point. Um, blue. Not, it doesn't really look like anything right now, but it is interesting. I just gotta not be afraid of overlapping it. Which I kind of am. <laughs> I really didn't get the color mixing like I thought I would. Which seems kind of odd. Right, maybe I need to get some of these colors mixed together better. Just mix them myself. I'm just going wherever and adding the color in. Bunch more yellow.
Okay, now it needs green, right? Needs more green. Add some more. Uh, the green. I kind of do want the texture, but Try some blue again. And they are definitely, definitely metallic. And I love it. <laughs> Some more blue going in here. reason I squiggled it and you know what I think I'm gonna still add more I'm gonna get some of this yellow and spray it Because as long as it keeps layering like this, it might just keep making it better and better. I don't know yet. We'll see. Maybe I should have stopped a long time ago. But sometimes we just got to play to see. This, this one's a lot wetter. It's looking pretty wild, huh? Okay, let me get some more red. Let's see if this will squeeze out. Yep. It's coming right through that foil now because that foil is open, so... Looking pretty wild. But can you see the shimmer in it? Okay, let's get some watery red going here. And my thought is it to just make it look layered upon layered upon layered so that you don't know like there's some spots where it's really looking layered it looks really good some spots the red looks like pink it's not looking real red Now what? Now blue, huh? Now I might need to put more blue on there. Maybe I need to just stop. 
I don't have a lot. And my line's too much lined up. So let's see if we can get rid of some of these lines. That are so well lined up. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't need the blue, it just needs me to go over where I have it too lined up. Because if I have it too lined up, then it's not going to give it a layered look, is it? right in this area. Looks very lined up. Okay. Let me get the green. Go in again. Add some more. Liquidy to it. Just try to get rid of some of those. Lined up areas. So that we don't have much of that anymore. That's a bad thing when you're trying to go random sometimes you end up lined up even if you don't want to now oh, that blue doesn't want to come out okay okay blue i say what a bargain for these paints and you could bring out your um oh what is that called that mat that's gushy you oh, I can't even think of what it's called is it a gush pad Now, it's getting rid of the lines that way, but it's starting to look like my lines are real diagonal-ish. I mean, not di vertical, not. So I'm losing the horizontal lines but I'm getting more vertical lines now. Mm, getting paint all over my hands. And I think some more. Red. Okay. That worked. I just kept going and it kind of smoothed it out. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see how this works. 
I'm going to spray some of that. Get my brush kind of wet with it and just smooth it out. And maybe that'll help me get rid of some of the line looking stuff. It's going to make the colors run together more. But that wasn't necessarily what I was going for. <laughs> um, I was wanting it to look like splotches layered on top of itself, but that's all right. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. See the vertical lines in there. Now they're horizontal this way. All right. All right, I'm going to leave that. I bet I could use that for like a butterfly or something, though. It might look really pretty. These definitely do have a metallic look to them. That's another Sheena thing. Keep spraying it to keep it wet. Okay. Let's do... Bring here. Uh oh, I missed that corner. I'm ring to what? Green. I'm just doing this to use up my paints that are on the on the mat. So there's that, and let's do the red, which is probably going to come out purple since I didn't really clean off that one. Was, well, they're both. Oh, a red and a purple is how it's coming out. to a brown let's get some yellow in here see how it cakes that's because acrylic paint when it dries is not supposed to be picked up but I just wanted to see what I could get for background paper now you can definitely see the metallic shine in here. If you can see that, I really like them. I'm very impressed. For what, a dollar twenty-five? So we had gilding flakes for three bucks, and now metallic acrylic paint for a dollar twenty-five um and when I pull out my Sheena stuff I'll have these paints to work with also but very nice and you know what I might do 
a little bit of clean on my boxes that I still need to decorate. And um, just try for that. See how that works. And then I could even put some gilding flakes. Um, another thing, this Mod Podge. This is the gloss, so I don't know if this does the same as that mat, but that mat will get tacky before it dries. And that you can add. Let's just try it and see. Because if it does, then you can add the gilding flakes to it. There is plastic on here, but where it's at. Okay. So if I take Mod Podge, like I said, I, I know the mat gets tacky first. I'm not sure about this clear. But let me just take a paintbrush in here. Okay. See if it gets tacky. It's very thin. Oh. I don't feel any tackiness. I don't feel any tacky. Maybe I was wrong about the Mod Podge. Well, we can try some copper on there. We got fans going, but we'll stick a little copper and see if we can get it to stick. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't look like it stayed tacky at all. So I guess I was wrong. So I'm glad I figured it out before I left it to you to try to figure out. And then it didn't work. kind of wanted to stay here and here, but I didn't. We'll have to try it again with the other Mod Podge. I just got to find where I have it at. This is not, yeah, this is the gloss too, because I was so surprised to see gloss. Because we always get, all I ever see at mine is that matte, the matte stuff that I was very surprised. But there is the metallic and it's got sheen. It doesn't have that dull look. That acrylic paint usually has this so flat and dull. As far as the temper paint, I don't, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I always had a hard time saying it. tempera and I've had people say laugh at me because I guess I needed to shake that up that came out really watery so let's see what happens if I shake it up if it's still that watery
doesn't want to come out now. Huh. How'd that other come out? Ooh. Yeah, watery. Very watery. Temper paint. I always think of as kids paint. So... This really just looks like glitter glue. That they're calling paint. It's clear. With glitter in it. I don't know if it'll get sticky. Uh, that's not gonna do no good for me. I can't see me using it for anything. If it does get like glue, I don't know. All right, so there we go from the Dollar Tree metallic acrylic paints. Love them, love the colors are nice, pretty. I mean. Here's some glitter glue from them. Let's see if it looks just like this. I bet it's thicker. Yep, definitely thicker. So, I don't know. Watered down glitter glue. All right, everybody. If you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you join me again. Bye-bye now.